ओके सो अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय नेम इज़ अल्तमश सईद एंड आई एम एन लामना ऑफ द लाम्स लॉ स्कूल आई ग्रेजुएट इन 2020 एंड वाइल आई वाज अ स्टूडेंट हेयर एट लाम्स इन 2019 आई स्टार्टेड एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड कदम व्हिच वर्कड ऑन द यू एन गोल्स एंड बेसिकली इन नोट दो इट मीन्स टू टेक बेसिकली फुट स्टेप्स फॉर अदर्स एंड टू काइंड ऑफ ब्रिज अ गैप for the for the underprivileged ones uh, along with the privileged ones so that we can you know connect and share our humanity basically the uh, kadam originally started in 2019 but the idea that uh, to basically help others and to stand with others and to do take steps literally which which is the meaning or the meaning of kadam started out when i was uh, 14 years old Uh, that is a story from 2012 uh, actually i live uh, in a in a small town in township if you may know um, it is a kind of a, a bit of a backward area it's not that backward but back in 2020 2012 we had some uh, drug problems there um, i know it's it's a bit uh, cliched but it did happen and uh, most of my friends were actually starting on and picking up drugs and uh, there was this stage that i was about to be you know uh, exposed to that kind of environment myself as well so uh, a very odd idea struck me and uh, a couple of my friends we thought that we should you know instead of uh, telling people uh, to quit drugs which is literally so difficult we thought that uh, we should do some kind of a physical sport or something so i love football at that moment and uh, me and my friends started out a football club Uh, originally we were just uh, around 11 to 12 people but uh, a year after year i mean we started out uh, organizing this kind of a tournament uh, where we invited teams from all over lahore and uh, literally in 5 years times uh, with i mean to say that in 2017 uh, we were able to rid about, uh, rid uh, my society about from this drug abuse problem uh, so um, that was where i originally started and uh, while i was a student at lams i thought maybe i should concrete this kind of thing lay a foundation that will have long term effect so that's why i started our kadam back in 2019 when i was a student i was actually inspired by some other uh, ngo welfare organizations that lams students had started out one of them uh, a very notable example was risk they basically inspired me that uh, uh you know people like us uh, who are connected who understand who can empathize with others and uh, the steps that they take no matter how small can end up becoming something really big so when i started out in 2019 i originally wanted to work on the un sdg goals because uh, that was uh, that is literally what all the world is currently working on that's all the buzz that been happening all over the world is about so i originally started out on a couple of goals one of them was poverty uh, food security life on land i'm i'm personally working on animal welfare so um, and by the down the road we have like done a lot of major things in these projects and uh, uh, we have expanded to other sdg goals as well actually to begin with i thought i would face a lot of backlash i wouldn't find the right people and uh, it would be really difficult but in reality it was it was quite the opposite uh, there was this one problem that i faced that was with the registration but uh, i mean that's some a problem that everybody is facing because of the fatf regulations here in pakistan <laughs> uh, so that is something that did happen but apart from that i found the right people uh, i even found a good amount of funding i mean in my first year Uh, I mean, in my final year at Lams, when the COVID situation had like um, struck us so suddenly that everything, like our or overall, all of our system was paralyzed. Uh, I mean, ev- everything had to be shifted online, and people lost their jobs on a mega scale. I was able to raise about funding of more than five million rupees, and uh, basically provide ration to over hundred thousand families in collaboration with another another organization. all over pakistan so that was something i did as a student 
in the last two years there have been like a lot of projects that kadam had the golden opportunity to work on uh, our original mega project was in collaboration with comprehensive disaster response services a uh, us based and pakistan based organization of which i was a national coordinator for the youth as well we collaborated with them and together we were able to raise about 25 million rupees uh, and uh, provide monthly ration uh, of up to like 6 to 7 family members to over 100000 families in pakistan that is something i did as a student then uh, we started out and uh, uh another project called asase be zuman which was basically aligned with life on land uh, it was a small project where we basically started feeding out stray animals on the streets uh, in um, in lahore and islamabad uh this project has been going on since the covid-19 pandemic because we believe that even the humans were affected at the same time because shops were closed restaurants were closed meat shops like uh, all over pakistan were closed animals were also very seriously affected so we started out this feeding campaign which has been ongoing since march 2020 and uh, to this date we have been successfully been able to feed about 20000 plus stray animals that included cats and dogs and we do this regularly to this day other than that we collaborated with another organization called charity doings uh, which is an islamabad based organization uh, which has been in operation since 2014 and uh, we have like started on working on the same ration projects with with them as well and we have started out a couple of other projects uh, one of them is called project abe hayat where basically we have installed more than 20 water projects in uh, desert like areas of pakistan such as thar four of those projects are solar powered so that uh, the energy use is sustainable aligned with the environment and at the same time it provides water to over 1000 people per day uh, another thing that we have done with our water projects is that uh, Uh, there is a lot of water still wasted uh, when someone uses a hand pump so what we have done with with that is that we have uh, you know installed a pipe that is directly connected from the hand pump to the fields to the agricultural fields so even like a small ounce of water that is like not uh, used by humans will go directly into the crops and uh, another new project that we are working on is related to solar light it's called uh, project roshni where we basically we have identified in the first phase uh, 10 to 15 mud houses in dadu sindh it's a backward area uh, and we are providing them a solar fan and a solar light so that these fa- these families can feel safe at night because there is like total darkness out there and it gives a sense of security to them and at the same time it helps students who really want to study at night to have an opportunity where they can interact and uh, work with other students to basically change their own future in a different way and uh, apart from that something that's not related to the sdgs directly but uh, are our human empowerment projects where we basically provide funding of uh, around 40 to 50000 to needy individuals which are verified extensively i mean um, in one case we were we provided a cow uh, it was worth 1 lakh 20000 is expensive uh, to a family in sargoda and uh, to this day they are basically using that cow to uh, uh, draw out milk which basically provides them profit of at least 400 rupees per day and, and for those families it is a lot uh, and at the same time they don't have to ask for money to anybody so that's the idea human empowerment and uh, a couple of other projects uh, in human empowerment include uh, providing fruit carts to families so that they can you know run their own uh, operations of selling fruits which is a dignified way of earning money which gives respect to the beneficiary themselves and they don't have to uh, ask for more money to other organizations so that is the way we operate and apart from that we have done other countless projects as well uh, which also fall under all of these categories and uh, we are extremely grateful to all of our donors and the people who trusted us despite uh, being a very small homegrown organization so far kadam has like done a lot and uh, we are also about to get registered very soon which is like part of our original was uh, an original part of my 5 years plan when i started out in 2019 so 2 years down the road we have done these things uh, in a month we are about to get registered in collaboration with charity doings which will be like our main body and uh, i'll still be the uh, a trustee and a director in that organization so that we will be able to carry on our projects in the long run as well 
As for the next three years in our original five-year plans, uh, I'm actually moving for my master's um, on a scholarship to the University of Michigan Ann Arbor, which is a very prestigious uh, opportunity for me. But uh, I wish to use this opportunity to expand our operations into the United States as well, uh, starting out a new chapter for charity doings there so that I can raise funding and uh, I can you know, reach out to people there, work for their rights, and uh, not only just uh, limit myself to Pakistan, but also expand uh, all that I can do for people there back in the States as well. I know um, the situation in the United States is much better than Pakistan. I know that. But um, there is no limit to helping out other people. So you will find people uh, who will not tell you anything like in, in the kind of distress they are. But if you are to truly able to talk to them with empathy, they will open up. And that is the situation all over the world. So I want to expand myself uh, to new horizons, to new people, and to help them um, wherever I go. So that's my, like, my future plan. Starting an NGO might, be, uh, might feel like it's a big step, but uh, it, it is a big step. But uh, if you really want to do something, uh, I mean, the, the real thing that you'll be focused on is your intention. What is it that you really want to do? Uh, the idea isn't just to formulate an organization, but to think about a problem, go meet the people out there, and figure out a solution. That is what it is originally about. And if you can do the same without even formulating an NGO, then, then you are on the right track. The purpose isn't to formulate the NGO. I mean, for example, in Pakistan, there are uh, organizations popping up that are working on environment. But at the same time, there are people who are working in their individual capacities for environment. They're doing con conservation drives, they're planting trees, or they're collaborating with WWF, organizing webinars, seminars to basically engage the audience and to give them awareness. So my advice to everybody who wants to formulate an NGO would be to focus on your intention. If that, and if that requires a formulation of an organization, please go ahead. And uh, believe me, you will find the right people. All you have to just do is try. So that's, that's my advice.